Uh, hey, what's up, everyone? It's Costin. I'm back here at my hidden pond. Uh, with my buddy David filming. Um, I'm gonna add some minnows, some shiners, and some crappie minnows in the pond for some forage. They're pretty damn big. I'm, uh, the water's kind of clear right now, so I'm gonna see if I can get any of the fish to blow up on them. If not, I'm just gonna throw them in regardless. Pretty crazy right now, but here's the shiners. Huh. Drop one of them. Yeah, the shiners to me look like gizzard shad and carp had like kind of crazy spawn. But I'm just throwing them in. See what comes up on that. I don't really want to keep adding minnows to the pond and just just to feed them. I want the, the minnows to eventually spawn and make their own little populations of the bask and. You know, eat on them and bass and bluegill and turtles or catfish if there is any. See if they'll eat on them and get kind of big. It's probably that I know of 20 bass back here, but I want them all to get from ones and twos to hopefully fours and fives. So last time I was back here, it was like frozen over, and I threw my Christmas tree over there. I can see why you didn't play baseball. <laughs> see, they're pretty big. I mean. A lot of shiners. I think it's the, they say crappie minnows, but I guess it's just fatheads. I don't want to uh, keep putting minnows or bait fish in this one spot because the fish are going to get used to it. And it's not really necessarily my pets. I want to be able to fish here, catch the fish, and not, I don't want the fish to trust me and then, you know, they lose my trust. <laughs> so I'm going to start finding like little spots, clearing out little spots all around the pond to uh, put minnows and other kind of bait fish. There's a little stream right here. It's kind of like a little ditch I want to cut out eventually. We're going to put minnows there. So I don't know if they're, if they're just swimming around chilling or what's going on. But i got two dozen shiners, two dozen crappie minnows. Like four dozen. Whoa. <laughs> Jug them. Right? Yeah, they're tiny. The shot, what do you think about the shiner? That's like your first time seeing them, right? Yeah. Cool looking fish for sure. See, the, it reminds me of like a little silver carp. Like, that or like a, a creek chub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, <slimy bastard. laughs> That's crazy. Alright, I got him now. Dude, pretty cool looking, don't you think? Yeah. That's crazy. So the goal is to make my own honey hole. I mean, the uh, population of bass back here are already pretty good. Uh, the biggest fish I've caught back here was two and a half pounds, which for a tiny pond that's never been stocked before by somebody, it's pretty good, that's healthy. in my opinion. So I want to keep adding uh, minnows in here, maybe some bluegill, some gizzard shad. Just see if I can get the population up. I know there's for a fact there's bass back here, and there's turtles, and there is also um, like bluegill, but I don't want to stock the pond with bass just yet. I want to create my own little mini population of minnows and add more bait fish into it so the bass will have a natural natural forage. I mean, the fish whisperer has a pretty good pond where he goes out and feeds the, the bass and the catfish and turtles. There is something blowing up over there. But he's got a, a pond full of bass, catfish, and turtles that he feeds shad all the time. I never seen him go out to that pond to go fishing specifically just to go feed them. And I don't want these fish to just hoard up over in this one spot because they know they're going to food. Yeah. I want them to be able to find it themselves. Don't have an aerator in this bucket just yet. Um, but, so there's going to be a couple of these little minnows. Oh, some just ate one over here. There's going to be a couple of these minnows that <clears throat> don't really have the best life because they're already halfway dead. But the fish are, the are going to eat them regardless. You're looking to build a, a fishing spot and not have some pets. Yeah. Like, these minnows aren't my... My pets, you know, they're literally food. Right. The last time I was here, I put in five dozen rosy red minnows. Like uh -huh. little minnows you can get from from Petco or PetSmart. And it was frozen over, and I made a hole right there. And I put them under, they all swim under there. I'm sure some of them died, if not all of them. I already bought them, so I didn't want to waste the minnows. So. They're popping all over the place. <laughs> I can see them like swimming out right there, where most of them were going down like, under the leaves, trying to hide. So that's pretty stressful on them. Mud minnows, just kidding. <laughs> what do you think? 
I like this place. Yeah, this is cool, man. Yeah, nice little spot. It's not the biggest, but it's mine. Just for comparison, here's the crappie minnow, and here's the shiner. Oh, look, they're hanging out. I mean, it's got a little bit of blue on them. Damn. For sure. They're all coming to the service trying to get some oxygen right now. There's not any uh, aerators or O2 tablets. I've caught, like, fish in this little pocket. Like, so many of them. Like, I can't make your one just, day. Just sitting off, like, like, right in here? Yeah, the furthest yeah. I've cast it out is probably to where that tree is. Uh -huh. Which I think they could be my Christmas tree. I really do want them to be a, there to be a nice minnow population here for the bass and for the right. other kinds of, you know, sunfish that are in here. In springtime, uh, some of these minnows will start making love. Fingers crossed, for sure. <laughs> springtime and summer, like summertime back here kills it, but this winter is just been ridiculous everywhere. Maybe you'll get a hybrid of a crappie minnow and <laughs> yeah. shiner. We've got a fistful. I do want the fish population to be healthy and for there to be a decent population of minnows, bait fish, and bass. Well, you definitely, uh, aiding to the bass for sure. Yeah, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to clear out some spots around the pond so I can have more bank access. I'm going to clear out this spot in this little ditch right here. Uh, I'm going to start putting my minnows in there specifically, and I'm going to make little spots around the pond to put bait fish, um, whether it be bluegill, other kinds of brim, possibly some shad, and I definitely have the intentions on putting some crawfish in here, crawdads, crayfish, whatever you want to say. This is a whole there's a variety of forage for the bass. You have a pretty uh, good ecosystem going on yeah, here. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Like I've added some. I added my Christmas tree. I don't know if it's bent all the way, but it's still just a little bit of structure over there. Right somewhere. there. But uh, I want to add some more stuff back here. From now on, whenever I go out here and I catch bass, I'm going to have a little log, and I want to say like what the time of the day, what I caught it on, and how big the fish was. Kind of like a fish journal, but for this pond specifically, because I can keep track of how they're growing. Right. And as far as I know, nobody's ever stocked this pond before. Until now. <laughs> so nobody else knows about this pond, man. So I think it would make my own little honey hole. It would be pretty sweet that come back here to catch a big fish. It's like a little experiment. And what I love about this pond, it's so clear. I was just making a joke to my friend David that uh, the best way to catch fish when you're trying to fish on YouTube is to turn your camera off. And I turned my camera off, and bass came over sort of blowing up on the freaking minnows. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Let's see the bass out there. Come on, blow up, please. Probably about one. Just say pound, hello. That's so oh, sick. He's got a smaller one right underneath him. Dude. How the heck? That was crazy. <laughs> that was cool. I, I mean, we've been seeing uh, some disturbances in the water the entire time we've been throwing minnows, but that was a pretty uh, heavy blow up. Dude. It, he was like chasing that. It man. Hit, that was crazy. It hit like five or six times. I've never seen a bass do that before. That was epic. Oh, right here. You see him rippling? Yeah. Oh, well, there it goes. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Woo, I think yes. I think he got one. Dude, that is a success. I call that a success. <laughs> for sure. That's awesome. That's sick. We finally got it on video. Dude, that is so cool. Yeah, man. Dude, that is awesome. <laughs> so sick. After the minnow stocking, I was looking over here in this little corner and I saw something, you can barely see it right there where I'm pointing at. It looked like a skull. And I had to you know I had to see what this is. It looks like the skull of like a small animal. Dude, it's a mouth. What? It's like the <laughs> bottom lip of a fish. Oh, man. Holy fuck. That's wild. Dude. No. That's That's got to be a bass, like, bottom lip. Oh, dude. Oh, how'd that smell? Dude, that's rough. <laughs> I'm not going to smell that's, it. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I'll I'm pass gonna, on that. Uh, yeah. Put that back in there, dude. All right, so <sighs> something's eating your bass. What do you think could have ate it, dude? Heron. Egret. You think? Yeah, man. I mean, turtles too. Like, I mean, they may have had their pick at it. It could have just been one big buffet for a bunch of stuff. Raccoon. Raccoon, maybe. Yeah. Um, you think, are you seeing a bowfin in the pond? Uh, yeah, some ponds. Really? Yeah. There could be catfish, but something ate that. And I want to I wanna know what it is. If you've ever seen something like this happen, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below and tell me what it could be. Yeah, I've, I've seen, like, fish, like, rotting away, but I've never found a lip. Yeah, that's a first for me. <laughs> that's I've, crazy. I've never seen that. Thanks for watching my pond stocking video. David, thanks for filming. You got it. If you guys have ever seen or found a dead fish lip, let me know. That's the first <laughs> time I've ever seen that happen.
And uh, let me know what you think ate that fish. And if you have any other ideas for this pond, let me know. Thanks for watching.